Hi everyone. So I went to Joann's. Well, I did an online order for pickup because I was looking in the app at their coupons and the coupon was to save an additional 25% if you ordered online and did a pickup. So that's what I did. Now, I saw through um, my bestie, Laura Reed Crafty, that Joann's finally brought out some new paper pads for Halloween. So, of course, I had to jump right on that. And then when I was on there looking, Tim Holtz had released a couple more items on their website as well. So, the original stuff from Tim Holtz was already sold out at my store. And I didn't really want to spend a lot of money to do an order online and have it shipped to me. So, I don't know. I'm going to think about getting that stuff maybe later. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But at Joann's, they have several new uh, paper pads. And a lot of them are, like, fall-themed to me. So, I didn't pick up all the new ones. What you could do is you go to Joann's and then put Park Lane. Uh, paper and then filter it to show you the new items and then you'll be able to find them so that's what I did so the first one I got was this 12 by 12 paper pad and when my bestie showed me this one she's like oh my gosh this has your name all over it and I was like yeah it does it's dark it's creepy it is so cool I love it so let me open this on up so I can share with you guys I haven't even flipped through it myself I just saw it and I was like yep I need that in my life so I just went ahead and I ordered it. So for everything that I got, it came out to $23, which I don't think is bad at all for a full 12 by 12 paper pad. And then I got another one, I think a six by eight. And then I got a couple of Tim Holtz items. So yeah, definitely check your app for those extra coupons because they definitely do help save some money. So here it is. Isn't this so pretty? It's got like grays and purples and just really really pretty so oh they're double-sided i didn't even really pay attention that they were double-sided oh look there's like a little gloss to them so right here on the bats and on the bones and on this little frog over here they have a little bit of gloss to them oh that's nice oh i think i might need another one of these <laughs> look at all these cut aparts Oh, let me show you the back. Uh, the back was just this, you know, gray and black. And the back of this one is some spider web. Oh, see, these are glossy too. Look at the little moth. It looks like it has like a little skull head right there. We have the spiders, the frog, the snake. Oh, a bat over there. That's really nice. Oh, I did not even realize this whole book was like glossy finish. Look, those bats right there. They have that gloss again. Oh my gosh. I need one of these just to hoard away. <laughs> oh, skeletons. I love this page. We have the snake, the frog, and the bat right here. And then this is what the back looks like. It's just a stripe. And the back of this one is some snakes. Ooh, we got like a spooky forest. The back of this one is just some writing. It looks like on parchment. And then here we go, we have some butterflies and like this little moth thing. And so you can see it has like the little skull a little bit better right there. Let's see, the back of this one is this like, I don't know, like kind of dark purple. It actually looks like a dark purple like burlap print. Ooh, see look at how pretty this is with the little skull. And then the skull is glossy. And so are the little crossbones. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, look at this is the snake one and here's the back of the snake this could go with like my harry potter too i'm trying to collect stuff for um harry potter for when we go to universal studios so i might take one of these sheets out and save it for that and here's the next one it's got like little leaves Ooh, a bunch of little froggies wait are these frogs or toads what's the difference i honestly don't know i should probably look that up thank goodness for google right Oh, look at the back of this one. We've got some little plants. Oh, I think this one is my favorite. Look at that. The skull with the snake coming out. And then over here, the skull with the little spider web on his forehead. That's really nice. I like that one a lot. Oh, look at this one with the, like, blue leaves. This is really nice. Oh, I really like this page. 
We have the bats, we have the butterfly, we got the frog, spider over here. Where's the snake? I don't see the snake this time. Yeah, no snake that time. Ooh, look at this one. It's like that purple burlap with like some like little moss. Ooh, and it's all spiders. So the spider webs and the spider right here in the middle, those are glossy as well. I wish the gloss was a little bit thicker so you can actually like feel it. But it's not thick at all. It's like very thin. You can barely feel that little gloss on there. Oh, you can see it kind of shine right here with the light reflecting. So this is like, like that same first one where it's just like some gray and black. And then look, spiders. Ooh, I love this. I wonder if my um, brother Scan and Cut could cut these out and make them into like a bunch of little ephemera pieces. I would love to use these for like little ephemera pieces. I'm going to have to try that. So these are glossy also. Like see, you can see right here in the light with the reflecting. Got this like green. With that like spooky forest. Ooh, this one has the mix of the bones and the animals. So we got the little frog and there's the frog. We have the snake with the snake. And over here the bat with the bat. Oh, there's some little mushrooms on here. That's cool paper. Here's this back is the purple. And then here is the front, the snake, the frog, some little leaves. Oh, there's a bat down here. Oh, the spiders over there. Pretty nice. And then on this side, we have the little skulls. Oh my gosh, why do they do this to me? Why do they put two really, really nice patterns on the same one? Then it's so hard to choose which one you want to use. So I love both sides of these. Oh, it drives me nuts when they do that, when you love both sides. Oh my gosh, this video is getting long. I am so sorry. Let me speed it up. Okay, uh, let me see. So here's the Tim Holtz that I got. So these are rub-ons. I think these were $4.99 or $5.99 and then they are on sale right now and then you can stack that extra coupon on them. So I think they came out to like $3 and then the same thing with these little word ones. I think these came out to like $3 too because they're on sale. You stack your extra um, store pickup coupon and then you get these. So these are like um, those old school like label makers, you know, you had to like turn the knob and punch the little letter one by one. So I love that. So I got two of those actually because I really really like those a lot and then here is the last paper pad I promise I'll be faster with this one and not look at every little detail because that takes me way too long clearly so this one is a six by eight and it is in the traditional black orange and white Halloween colors I wish that they sold matching ephemera packs to these because I would really really love some matching ephemera because that other paper pad was definitely my style, so some of them would have been amazing. Okay, what was that one called? Haunted Hollow. Oh, see, and they had the spooky forest in there. And then this one is called Boo. So let's see. Oh, this one's double-sided too, so here's the back. We get our little cutouts. Oh, there's foil in this one. So the other one had a little gloss to it. This one has foil. Let's see. So here's the back right here we got some owls and then it has the little spider webs on the other side this one we got little kitties with pumpkins and then on the other side it has the skulls with the bones oh i like this one orange with the little stars oh and the other side is foil stars that's really cute just some black and white dots Oh, and then it's little witchy hats on the other side. I would cut these up to make little ephemera pieces too. Is this embossed? So this side, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's a little embossed because the other side is spider webs. So I think you can kind of see right there that you can see the little spider web like seeping through. And then on the other side, it is silver spider webs. That's cute how it gave like that double effect. So if you look really closely, you can see 
the whole paper is embossed. I don't know if that was intentional or just by accident of them pressing the foil, but I like it. We got some little kitties over here with some little skeletons and some little bones. Ooh, with some silver bones, some orange and black stripes. Oh, we have little owls over here. Again, I would cut these apart to have little ephemera pieces out of those. And then white and orange stripes. Oh, see, same thing with this. You totally need to cut this little pumpkin guy out and use him for ephemera piece. Look at how cool he is with the little witch hat. Yeah, definitely use these and just make them be like little cutouts. Black and white stripes. Ooh, candy corn. Oh, look how cute. It's the stripes of the candy corn. Ooh, bats. That would be a lot of little, like, cutting by hand. But if you have a scan and cut, and if this will actually cut it, that would make a bunch of amazing little ephemera pieces. I need to pull my scan and cut back out and try to give it a go again. I used it once. I got it to work, and it cut out, I think, like, two sheets for me. And then after that, it was done. I couldn't get it to work again. And then I just kind of put it away and never looked at it again. <laughs> So I need to pull that back out and try to give it a shot again and see if I can get it to work because I would love to have some little firm pieces. That's the whole reason why I bought it. I bought it used off of Facebook Market and I bought it because I wanted to be able to do things like this where I can just scan it and then have it cut out these little figures for me. So I'm going to pull it back out and try to give it a go again and see if I could get it to work. So wish me luck on that. But anyways, that is my little video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, go to Joanne's app or online, stack those coupons if you can. And I hope you guys get some great deals out there and stay tuned. I have another haul from Hobby Lobby. All right. Bye guys.